I was scrolling the meta ads library this morning doing some research and I saw something that I don't often see, which is a brand running over 400 ads at once. So I figured let's dive into this brand together and dissect it to understand exactly why they're driving so much traffic and also how it's affecting their store sales. So right away, let's just get right into it. It's affecting it in a very positive way. Running all those ads is really, really making them pop off. As you see by their traffic distribution, they're getting over 200,000 monthly visitors right now. And right here is the meta ads library. So this is public information. Everybody has access to all of the ads that any brand runs on meta. Meta is legally required to show you this information and it's 420 results right now, 420. That's pretty funny. And before I dive super deep, I just want to explain something uh, that you should know. So first and foremost, I got an example here from one of the stores that I started last quarter and yesterday it did over $1,300 in profit. Now, as you see, it regularly does this. It gets a really high conversion rate and you see the session. So this is the visitors is about one uh, to four in terms of sessions to sales. So a thousand sessions, 4,000 in sales, right? So by looking at this, if we apply that same ratio, uh, from 200,000 monthly visitors, we can estimate $800,000 in sales per month. So of course, we don't know for sure if that's the case, but that gives us a good baseline to know that this brand is absolutely doing something right and it's worthwhile to see what that is. So the first thing that we're gonna dive into is of course the product page, right? Cause this is where they're driving a lot of traffic to. If we take a look here, so if we just click that, oh, actually, they're running traffic to advertorials as well. But one hack that I want to give you here real quick, this is a really good research hack, is just scroll to the oldest running ads, right? So we can scroll all the way to the bottom and see which ads are the ones that they have been running the longest. Now, why do we want to see that? Well, basically because these have stood the test of time and they're still active in their ad account, meaning that it's probably still doing well. Of course, that's not always the case. Again, I want to give a disclaimer. I want to tell you the truth, right? I don't want to overhype you, but sometimes you can leave campaigns on in your ad account and not or campaigns off, but with ads on still in that campaign, which kind of tricks people into thinking that, you know, uh, you have ads on that are actually not on anymore. So anyways, this is one of the ones that I wanted to get to, right? A lot of times when I scroll all the way back down to uh, the longest running ads, I always try to find the static ads specifically because those are the easiest to recreate, right? I mean, videos are not super hard to recreate, but they're kind of difficult if you don't have any sort of production experience, if you don't know any UGC creators, you could just go on Fiverr and find some or on X. But statics, I mean, they're super easy. You can use any AI basically to recreate statics these days. But this is the one of the statics that has been running the longest. So let's click add details and let's explore this one a little bit further. Um, so you see, first and foremost, it says it's not a mini flat iron, not a regular brush and not just another styling tool. The GoBrush Pro is the number one cordless heated styling brush designed specifically for short hair, which is the back easily no burns styling your nape anti-scald bristles safe around ears and hairline salon results in five minutes that's a good headline right there smooth and shiny from every angle winner of the 2025 hair awards over 40,000 women have made the switch try it once feel the difference 50 percent off today 100 percent money back guarantee so that's the offer right there and then if we look at the ad itself right they got Say goodbye to short hair frizz and frustration. This cordless tool keeps it smooth, keeps it smooth and shiny. Very nice, very well done. So let's click shop now, and boom, it takes us to this landing page right here, which is a different landing page from this one. This is the original landing page, and interestingly enough, they already have a New Year's sale banner. So it's literally the second of. January, it's the second day of the year, and they're already running a new 50% off deal, which is smart. You know, some people may look at that and see it as, you know, salesy, discounty, whatever you want to say about it. But at the end of the day, it works. It really does work, especially with meta ads, as we saw just by their traffic distribution and how many ads they're running. And then the landing pitch is actually really simple. So 
Numoya Go Brush Pro, the short hair specialist. Short hair that looks right every time. Look put looks put together fast. Control flat spots and cowlicks. So they must have done some research, some deep research on their demographic. Like who, what are the terms that people use when they describe salons and things of that nature? Because I have no idea what that means. But I'm sure the people that actually buy this product know exactly what that means. Style comfortably without tugging or burning. Reach the back and sides easily. So one of the things that I think is really smart to do is when you're reading your own landing page, try to put yourself in the eyes of the customer, right? Like somebody wants to scroll quickly. They want to read as fast as possible. So more often than not, they're just going to read the bolded text. So that's what I do too. Uh, and then boom, they got the deal here. So they got a New Year's deal, buy one at 50% off plus a free pouch. So this is just like the normal deal that they got. Or you can do the New Year's duo and buy two and get two free leather pouches, which is a pretty strong offer. So plus three free gifts and hair care guides. That's a lot of value, right? That's just a lot of value. It's over $200 worth of value for $107. So that's the default option. And I'm guessing a lot of people take that option. And then they got the little low stock banner here. So they're doing a lot of direct response stuff that really does help with conversion rate. Um, it's similar. I'm not doing as hard of uh, direct response stuff on this site, but we're still converting at about 5%. And you can actually get the same theme that I'm using on that store using our free AI store builder uh, from Shopee Lab, which is my platform. And it's free, literally free. There's no catch. Just go use it. And Shopify pays me if you keep your store. That's how it works. Um, after three months. So if you don't keep your store, then I don't get paid and you just got a free theme. But I would suggest you keep your store and just use my content to make it work. That's a pretty cool thing that we got going on here. Like my, I'm very incentivized to help you succeed on Shopify with the store that you get from the builder, because then that's the only way I get paid. It's pretty nice. Um, but I'm honestly just launching e-com stores all the time. And I use this theme every single time. Now, Let's dive into this a little bit further. So one of the things that also a lot of people don't understand, a lot of beginners especially, but if you're advanced, you know, if you look at a lot of data, you understand this. Um, and I see this everywhere too. So I, I don't just have my stores, right? I mean, I'm always launching new stores, but I also do have an agency and a few different software that a lot of big e-commerce brands use. So I see a ton of data, like my agency, akemilab.com, is actually the highest tier agency uh, meta partner. So we have the highest badge available, which is not that hard to, re to reach. You need over 4 million a year in ad spend, but still, it, you know, it says something about the agency and seeing all that data. I mentioned it not to flex, maybe a little to flex, but I mentioned it so that you, you know, that what I'm saying has some validity to it. So basically what I want you to know is that most brands, they really focus primarily on this, right? This section right here, this is called the above the fold. The above the fold is extremely important. You'd be shocked at how little people actually read on your landing pages. Like these things are fine and you should definitely put a little bit of time into this for sure, right? Like make it look good for the people that do go and scroll down. But a lot of people, they just see this, they scroll through the images, they're like, oh great, this is cool, blah, blah, blah. They look at the offer and then they make the buying decision. Some people may go look at the reviews, not everybody though. And then some people you know, may scroll a little bit here, but most people genuinely don't. It's kind of crazy, at least in the US, right? I mean, I don't know how it is in other countries. I mainly sell to the US. I live in the US, I know this market the best. So this is my main focus. Although for this year, one of my goals is to partner with more Shopee Lab members that are in emerging markets. So how that works is, of course, you need to have experience. You need to be a hard worker. You need to have a good eye for design. And, but if you have that, I'll partner with you. I'll fund the store. I'll fund the ads. I'll give you our strategy and guidance. Um, and, but yeah, we'll launch a store in an emerging market. It's something I do want to test this year, but I don't want to test it on my own because again, I just am very focused on my market, which is the U S market. The other thing about this though, like I mentioned, that goes along with, you know, uh, having focusing on this above the fold section, like above the add to cart is just having amazing product images. That's another thing I, I find a lot of people 
make a mistake with. They don't tell a story through their images. Like look at how much information is in these product images. You basically can understand everything about the product just through looking at the images. And that's just a really nice customer experience. It's very convenient. It's kind of like TikTok shop. I take a lot of inspiration actually from TikTok shop because they've created a really seamless frictionless experience for shopping. And I think you can actually achieve the same thing on Shopify. That's what makes Shopify so incredibly powerful is you can create a frictionless experience where you own all your data, you own all your contacts and you have full control over your business. Whereas on TikTok shop or on Amazon, you do get a frictionless experience too, but you don't really, it's, a lot of it is out of your control, right? Because Amazon could ban you, TikTok shop could ban you, they could hold your money. And I mean, Shopify can too, don't get me wrong, but it's much less likely to happen. And that's pretty much it for the offer. So these are kind of the most important things, your offer above the fold, right? Like all this stuff and the product images and then really strong ads. So this is a really good ad that I would basically just put in a swipe file if I was testing a product like this this would be one of the competitors that I would look at. I would just kind of take this into consideration and then I would use AI to do something very similar, right? Like almost identical, but maybe with your own branding, right? And your own product, of course. And you see th this is really good. Like these are some really nice statics, so you can easily copy these. But let's look at one of the videos here that they're using. So they're using a lot of the same ad copy in these older videos. I can't leave the house without this thing seriously get it this brush has been such a lifesaver for me before i bought i didn't even realize how much i needed it but i take it everywhere with me brianna j perth here's a little subtle thing that's super brilliant if we take a look here um, at the ad copy i'll zoom it in a little bit you can see they actually missed a space here so there's supposed to be a space here but they purposely did this i'm 100 percent sure that they they did this purposefully in order to show that it's a real review. So people make mistakes, people make uh, faults when they write. So this makes it feel more real. That's actually so If genius. your mom has short hair and you don't know what to do. So let's see. Oh, and there, so that's another interesting thing. In this ad, they are targeting older women. So they're saying, if your mom has short hair, something, something. So that's the hook. If your mom has short hair. So, you know, this, that's actually a brilliant hook because it, appeals to everybody right like literally everybody sons daughters and the moms themselves and grandmas and like literally everybody so let's see what it if says if your mom has short hair and you don't know what to get her this gift is trending everywhere my mom's impossible to shop for so this christmas i got her something she actually needed not another candle she'd never light the go brush pro because she's been struggling with her bob for three years every call it's the same complaints i can't reach the back my arms hurt i burn myself again she thought cutting to a bob would be easier, but styling short hair is actually harder, especially the back. You know, these kind of ads are really, really good. And this is actually the, like, this looks almost like something that the akemilab.com team would produce, which is again, my agency team. The agency team is producing ads like this entirely with AI. Now there are a few compliant issues. Like you can't make something like this with AI and have it be compliant. It needs to be not a testimonial in order for it to be real, uh, for real compliant but this is the exact kind of format that you can make with ai th these days and just a little bit of editing of course we do have an editing team too uh, but this is really good so if you are a brand and you want ads like this with ai hit me up go fill out our form at chemlab.com we're always looking for new experiments to run for new potential clients it's a really cool lab that we got going on um, and the team is just really incredible so I would love for you guys to, yeah, use our services. But anyways. She absolutely loves this thing because it's designed for all short hair types. Bobs, pixie cuts, layers, everything. You so see, they're just styling. showing so many different people. And that that's actually a very smart hack because when you see so many different people, it just automatically makes you trust this more. She used to complain Even if these people Bob. aren't real, um, which I'm not sure. They kind of look fake to me, to be honest. They just don't happen anymore. It's completely cordless, compact with ceramic bristles and anti- And that's what's cool about AI too. Like you can invest less into UGC. I still think it's really smart to get real UGC content, uh, like B-rolls and things like that. But you can fill it up with a lot more AI content too and have like a hybrid mix. That's our favorite kind of ads to make at Akemi right now. Um, 
it just looks really smooth. Gold technology. Let's finish so this. she doesn't burn herself anymore trying to reach those back sections. She can style anywhere, sitting comfortably on the couch, in the car, before events, even in good lighting away from the bathroom mirror. Plus, it works perfectly on her bob and gives her the style she wants in just five minutes. Since it's quick and easy, she actually styles her hair every day now. No more hats or asking dad to check the back. Even <laughs> dad commented how lovely she looks. Her short wow. hair friends got one too. Now this is such a brilliant video. Now they're ready for the holidays instead of and yeah, they're even saying her friend got one too. So that encourages people to buy more than one, right? That's so brilliant. What a good script. I love that script. And again, that's a good idea that you can apply for yourself. If you have a brand in the hair care category, you could just export this script and use an 11 labs voice over to recreate it for your own brand and your own product. Uh, but yeah, of course, I would not recommend you steal content from this brand. I don't think you should do that. Uh, you can get in trouble for that. But let's actually also look here at the advertorial. I didn't get to it because uh, I didn't want to complicate the video at the beginning. I know most beginners don't know much about advertorial, so I didn't really want to do it yet. But they're running to this advertorial. It's an eight reasons why go, God go brush. And it says nine out of 10 women say this brush gave them their confidence back. Here are 10 reasons why. This is a very classic advertorial example. It's just a nice little bridge page to basically just get somebody hot to buy, right? Um, yeah, th these are really good. So 30 day risk free trial, the secret 100,000 women already know, get the number one portable straightening brush at the best price possible, check availability, and then boom, it just takes you to the site. Brilliant stuff, love to see it. Um, I do see also that these guys are not responding to many comments at all, which I like to do this in my research as well because I always find it to be one of the easiest ways to compete with a brand. Just get uh, some sort of AI agent in order to just answer all your comments and DMs and you're gonna be able to outcompete some of these bigger brands, it's crazy. And I would suggest you use Smart Reply for that because it's super cheap, super powerful and yeah, a lot of nine figure brands use it. So I would recommend it for yourself too. That's pretty much about it for this video though. I don't wanna get it, uh, there's not much more to go over. I mean, these guys are just absolutely brilliant. So I'll just leave it to you. Go do your own research. Um, let me know what you learned from this video. And if you wanna source products like this, you know, start with a lean, maybe branded drop shipping approach. I do recommend that because it's just a very lean way and you can learn a ton from it and make a lot of money then check out some of the links in my description. I leave all of my resources, most which are actually 100% free. So yeah, that's about it. Peace out.